So you decided to buy a house, good for you. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what to think first before purchasing your first home, doing your homework. This is Nunen, the Greater Boston Real Estate Show. Nunen's Greater Boston Real Estate Show. As a renter, you have the luxury of choosing the place that meets your needs at the moment. But when you purchase a home, you have to think of a bigger commitment, both in financials and also because you're going to live there for a longer time. So it's very important to do your homework. Shop for a place that meets your current needs, but also think about uh, five to seven years ahead. Um, average American changes their housing every five to seven years. So think about what can happen in those five to seven years and think about the square footage, the number of bedrooms, the number of bathrooms that will fit if uh, the possibility happens that your life will change. I had a client who bought a, a condo two years ago and it fit his needs perfectly at the time of the purchase. Suddenly in a year he was married, in another year he had a baby and suddenly that place that was perfect for him two years before seems really cramped. So think about what can happen and plan accordingly. So your first place might not be uh, luxurious or it might not have any frills, but the important thing, the basics have to be in good shape. That means the foundation, the plumbing, the heating, the windows, you know, the basic things that um, big ticket items. So for that, it's very important to have an inspector and your real estate agent will refer you to a great inspector. If you don't have a real estate agent and you don't live in Massachusetts, still reach out to me because I can connect you with a great real estate agent in your area. If you're in Massachusetts, I'm here to help. Perfection doesn't exist unless you have an unlimited budget and you can oversee the whole construction of your new dream house. It's just not gonna happen unless you can oversee the construction, the, the materials used, the design, everything. So you have to compromise. In your head, it's very important to have an idea of what are your must-haves, nice-to-haves, and I don't care. Prioritize even the must-haves. And if you have eight must-haves and in this property you see seven are present, you should totally make an offer on that place. If you agree with me, uh, type yes in the comments. Maybe in those priorities are, I need to be able to walk to a coffee shop, or maybe um, I need to be in a certain school district, only you can measure the importance of amenities you're looking for. As a homeowner, you have recurring costs and you have to think about those things. Um, as a renter, you just pay the rent and utilities maybe and you're done with it. You don't have to think about anything. As a homeowner, you have to think about the mortgage, utilities, maybe trash pickup, sewer costs and everything, homeowners association fees. So have that all in mind so that you're comfortable with your monthly payment. Nothing lasts forever. So if you're thinking, um, I'm gonna buy this house and it's gonna be, stay perfect for the next five, seven, 10 years, you're wrong. So inspectors are really helpful in that way because they can tell you exactly how long it will last. For example, the roof has 15 years in it and it will last another 15 years. Uh, you can plan accordingly. Water heater might be six years old and uh, the warranty is for another four years. It's a 10 year warranty. So you know you can plan for when to change the water heater, the carpet, the windows, whatever it is, you have to plan your financials. So uh, you know that saying, um, if you're failing to plan, you'll, you're planning to fail. So make sure that you understand what your future um, financials are and what you need to change to take very good care of your property. Are you ready to buy your first home and don't know where to start? I will be happy to help. And if you're not in my area, I can connect you with a great agent in your area. And in my next video, I'm gonna talk about how to save for down payment. So make sure you uh, click on the bell so that you'll be notified when the next video comes up. This is Nune and the Greater Boston Real Estate Show. Make sure to like and subscribe and click on the bell so you get notifications of the next video. Nune's Greater Boston Real Estate Show.